My first film was The Dirty Dozen. And I didn't know shit from toothpaste. If you've got any sense of fear, do you recognise these guys? They've fallen, jumped, crashed, punched, kicked, stabbed, swung and exploded their way through the last 60 years of cinema. It wasn't a stump business like it is now. Taxi drivers, bouncers, barmen. I was working in a factory in North London. They might look like any bunch of old geezers, but they're pretty special. I could put my back against a friend and punch my way out of a room. They wanted someone to drive this E-type quite quickly. I didn't mind getting bashed up or running around, because that's what they was doing anyway. He said, you want to do a stunt in a movie? So I said, yeah. Not knowing it was a stuntman. Didn't know the word stuntman. It's like when I came out of the army, or I went for job interviews, and they said, what are you good at? And I go, well, I'm very good with a light machine gun. That's not really what we're looking for. That one there, he was in the yellow charts. He said, I've got this actor on this film. He's a dead ringer for you, you know. A few of them were Superman. I got into films like that where I was doubling main actors. Him? I'm doubling the arch villain. He was John Wayne. First time I did a stunt with him, he bollocked me. Pretty much all of them have been James Bond at some point or another. 007 is the holy grail of stunts. And some of them, well, they're still going. Why wouldn't you keep going? I mean, it's just, it's fun. The family pay for it. I miss the kids because I was travelling a lot. When it's too late, what do you do? A little bit of dignity in old age is good. Bang, and he kicks me in the nuts. I think the industry's changed an awful lot. I do think the characters have disappeared that were. They're the guys who made film exciting and they're ready to tell their story. You can't run away from fire. It's a lot of backstabbing. It's very incestuous business. It's a great life for me. You had to fend for yourself. It's cutthroat. If you got hurt badly, you were out and gone. Being responsible for that is not very nice. You know, that film ruined my life. You think, why am I doing this? <laughs> I wish I could do it again. I wouldn't change any of it. Save some of your money, though. <laughs> Hollywood Bulldogs, the rise and falls of the great British stuntman.